So now I will go straight to the case 10 offset. Okay. I will go to case 10 directly. This is the case 10 offset. I already have uh, told in the uh, previous video that how to find case 10 in the new encrypted lib of any game, not from any key. Here is the case 10. So how we have to create for this function first of all we need to know that what we have to return uh, from this function if we will return one from this function that means the emulator uh, the device is emulator like we are playing on emulator but if this function is returning zero then it means that it is not an emulator it's a real device mobile device so we have to create a hook for this function and we have to return 0 uh, or minus 1. So first of all you will need to copy this first line and uh, paste here above the void above this one. Here like this and add this at the end. We have to add brackets here. What I am doing, I will tell you later. Just a second. Okay. Here we are using this function in our main CPP. We are actually defining this function in our main CPP, and then we will uh, we will use this function, and we will return anything that we will need or that we want. Here, this function we have defined this function as a, as a function where we are doing nothing, we are not changing anything, we are just defining this function in our main CPP so we can return the uh, it later if we want. For example, if we return this function from uh, this is the function name, if we return this function, nothing will be changed and uh, everything will be uh, running perfectly as. Uh, or the emblem added by PUBG and the Libanon's like and if we are pushing this one if we are using we can uh, do anything here for example if I return 0 here then this will not be called but if I call directly this here if I return this one like this then it will directly return the original function this one and nothing will be changed and it will work uh, like original functionality will work if it has to return 0 it will return 0 or if it has to return 1 it will return 1 nothing will be changed we can change here in this function for example if we want to return 0 as we already know that uh, we have to return 0 to, to this function we will return 0 instead of returning original function like this okay so now it will, what will happen then this function will be called by pubg this function will return 0 these codes will not work these codes will not work okay if we want that these codes should work and uh, then what we will do we will return the original function if we will return the original function this 
original code will be run in the memory of the game but we do not want to run this original uh, coding uh, so therefore that we will return the zero simple so here now it is defined here it's a very simplest code you can uh, returning zero is not a good thing like you should not return zero because returning zero will trigger any other bank you will need to do something uh, something like uh, according to your knowledge you have to do something different unique okay so now we have to uh, run these from our app thread these are defined here now we will run from here for example i am copying this one as the you have to copy the this uh, the name of the original function first the name of original function will be written here on the second place the name of the mod uh, let's call it as modded function or hook function it will be placed here these are the names of function like this is the name of function and this is also the name of function you can write anything else here we know that this is the offset we will paste it here like this this offset is a thumb function so we will add the plus one inside it otherwise it will crash the game okay so i am ignoring this this is the crash fix offset crash fix offset how you can find the crash uh, fix up that i already uh, uploaded the video a few days ago about finding the crash fix offset in libnr this is from libnr and this is from libnr here this will never change in every update this will remain same in every update of the game either it is pubg or call of duty or any other you will need to update or add new hooks here like this now this is the case 10 in this way you have to create hooks in your main cdd and then now this hook is created successfully here i have one more thing for example if you want to see that what is passing from a1 a2 a3 or anything like or if you want to know that when this function is being called by game for example it is calling in the lobby or it is calling at the logo or where it is being called by the game you can also know that um, for that purpose you will need to add a log command here here i will type like this is then it's called a now here i will type simply t so what is this this is a format specifier for example if i add a1 here what it will do the value of a1 will be displayed here in this uh, instead of percentage d the value of a1 will be displayed there and like same like this i will say how many arguments 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 as we know the d word it's a uh, it's like a string or it's a word so we will display a4 in percentage s one two three four sorry this one two three four percentage this is also a format specifier you can find the about uh, you can know if you want to know more about format specifiers you can uh, google it or you can uh, ask from chat gpt here i will like a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 what it will do it will display the value of a1 in the first format specifier the value of a2 in the second and so on a3 in the third and like this for example if we type a3 here and a1 here what it will do it will display the value of a3 in the first format specifier and a2 in the second a1 in the third like uh, in this pattern it will display the values okay. okay now our book is ready and we 
also have added it in the hex and now let's compile it and uh, let's see whether there are any errors or not i'm compiling sorry uh, i have to edit my compile because ndk uh, this path is not uh, correct let me correct this path this is the right path in my pc so let me compile it and you can see it is the compilation is started and the method i am teaching it's a very simplest method dever uh, it is giving an error let me show you oh, sorry it will display the error here it is saying that dever Word is not uh, defined in our main CVB. What we will do, we, uh, we will define the D word in our main CVB here above. This, and like this, we have to define it like this. Now let's compile again. Here you can see compilation has started successfully and it is not showing. It will compile in few seconds. It will take uh, time first time. Compilation is completed. Uh, L is your output. Lib mask, uh, lib mask six all. Now you will need to push this lib in the game using this .gl bat file before starting game. Push this lib in the game before starting game and uh, when the lib will be pushed and then you have to start the game and the, our lib will work perfectly. So here our uh, this episode completes. Uh, today we added our simplest hook in our main CVB. Oh, 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 oh,